Hello Capricorn, welcome to your He Said, She Said reading. This is for the week of August 12th, 2018. Hello Richard. Hello Capricorn. Richard's joining us again this week to offer his insight. Don't forget we have our $35 special, a 20 minute uh, personal reading of the He Said, She Said spread. So if you're interested, please email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com and don't forget to check out the rest of my channel. I'm putting up the new September readings this week, so please go and check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. So for your oracles this week, Capricorn, what came out for you from the Psychic Love Tarot was the card of success and growth. So success and growth speaks to pretty much exactly what it says. And it says here that when this card appears, success is at hand and it may happen quickly. So good energy there, and from the uh, Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed you have the card of Yin. Now this one is all about the feminine principle of re receptivity, letting someone else make that first move. It's calculated receptivity. It's waiting for something to come to you and being ready to accept it when it does. There's a feeling here of letting others taking the lead when it comes to love and relationships. So let's see where this goes. Capricorn, I've already meditated on your energy, so I'm going to cut the cards. The first card will symbolize your partner, their energy, or the person that you're thinking about here, Capricorn. What they bring to the table when it comes to you, their flaw, how they feel about you, Capricorn, how you feel about them, the strengths between you, the weaknesses between you, the potential for a healthy relationship crossed by any potential roadblock in the outcome. So let's have a look here Capricorn and see what the energy is of your partner or potential partner. Two of Wands. Alright, so uh, they're, they're trying to make a decision about something possibly or they're in the planning stages. They may have a couple of different options that they're sorting between. What they bring to the table when it comes to you is the Six of Cups in reverse. Alright, so we're talking about a situation where uh, they are forgetting the past. There seems to be a, a letting go when it uh, comes to something perhaps they've held on to, some pleasant memories or perhaps even a relationship from the past. Now, when it comes to their floor, they have the Death card as a flaw. Well it's possible then that they haven't let go of something that they need to let go of. It could potentially be something that they they need to release out of their life but they've been slow in making that choice. But I get that there, there may be an energy here with these oracle cards of slowly having slowly making plans to release this past. Hmm. Let's see how they uh, see you, Capricorn. The tower, so sudden change. It doesn't always have to be a bad thing, the tower. It could just mean that this process might end up being one where the relationship sort of gets blown up, but it gets rebuilt on a stronger foundation. Perhaps after this partner has let go of, uh, of the past. This uh, death card and, and the tower are speaking to me of something that needs to needs to end and and I feel that whatever this change is, this transformation in the relationship, it does seem to be a positive thing. And it definitely involves the part it definitely involves you, Capricorn. Let's have a look and see how you're viewing your partner or the person that you're thinking about. The Seven of Wands in reverse. So you, you may be viewing them as potentially giving up on a situation or, or even dropping their guard. It's, it's hard to say at this point, but uh, I, would, I would hope, it seems like the partner is trying to, yeah. is trying to change here, is trying to transform. And they just haven't they just haven't done it yet. They may have been holding on to something here and, and building up a wall around themselves for fear of change. But I I get 
I do get an energy here of making positive changes and I do feel that this wall or you feel that their wall is coming down. Yeah, so it's not really about defeat or giving up or not wanting to try anymore. It's like the walls have been uh, been just destroyed mm -hmm. with that tower card is how I feel. Okay. Let, let's have a look and see what the strengths are. The nine of wands. All right, so we're talking about uh, perseverance, persistence, and so that's a, that's the strength of this relationship is that both of you are, are persisting and persevering. Being a nine, you're almost there. You know, you're almost at the end of the struggle. You're holding on for dear life is what I get. You, you're, still, you're still standing after coming through a trying time. There, there may have been, I pick it up as a, there may have been a, it, it may not have been a complete breakdown of a relationship but there certainly was the potential for an ending to occur if a major change wasn't made is what I'm picking up yeah I, I get the I get the sense of almost like an ultimatum mm. you know mm. if this if this doesn't change it splits Phil yeah and, and I feel that that the energy of the partner here is making that decision finally freeing something from the past now when it comes to the weakness in the relationship we have the queen of pentacles so it may have been something that they needed to let go of it may have been an earth sign potentially or it could also be because this is a general reading if it's not someone else that this may symbolize you capricorn can be a male or female but as an earth sign and as a a weakness in the relationship it's a a feeling here of perhaps a bit of stubbornness or rigidity yeah i pick it up as potentially and i don't know why this is coming to me but but i i feel like it's almost being too motherly does that make sense? So, are you saying maybe a bit too, um, a bit too coddling, or yes, or a bit too, or possibly uh, smothering? Smothering is it, the word. Is. Smothering, uh, and and I feel that that it may have, it may have something to do with with the past. It may even relate to. This could potentially relate to needing to move on. It, it may be a, a relationship here that has had children. Hmm. And uh, for some reason I picked this up as a mother figure. And I, I sense that there's been a needing to let go of a child. And I mean that just in terms of perhaps going away to college. Leaving the nest. I sense it's leaving the nest. And it's changing the relationship. It's a. It, it is a major change, in in the in the family here. <clears throat> now let's have a look at the potential in this relationship. Now we have the two of pentacles in reverse. It's crossed by the six of pentacles. Now, <clears throat> with that two of pentacles in reverse, it's all about. Being not being able to cope with the changes right all right so this is a this is a big change mm. we're going to see a real story emerging here yeah and uh, it's it's overwhelming it is because i feel that the roadblock here is the the, the level of i feel that, that this energy here is giving you're so used to giving to others that the change is is very overwhelming it's almost like the the receptacle that you give to mm. has been taken away and you don't know what to do anymore with all of that giving yeah it, it does it seems to be it does seem to be about someone who is leaving the nest and and that's what this this death card is it's not physical death or, or anything like that it's transformation it's transformation of a relationship a uh, because someone is 
leaving. Mm. The the outcome is the two of cups. So that there's there's still love here in this relationship. I feel that even though even though there's been a change and it's going to take a transition period I think to to find that love back between you two because I get for you Capricorn for a long time it's been about giving to the family giving to the the, the child or the children and now you're having to get that love between you and your partner back solely between you two and there's no distractions anymore that's right it's getting that love back yeah, that's the challenge that is the challenge but i think there's this promise here there is and i do see success and growth i see is the the, the child is right. leaving the nest to get his own his or her own success they're growing and yin being about well, you've got to release control, yeah. essentially. Um, yeah. let, the, let the situation unfold as yeah. it should. Yeah. And and everything else will work out just fine. <laughs> you know, if you're looking for a receptacle to, to give to, give to your partner. There you go. Because I see that you're both... You're both very... Th th there's nobody leaving this relationship. No, you're both very persistent. Uh, yeah. Ex this is this relationship is going to last it's strong and i think i think you'll end up being happy in the end and i see you both coming through this period of transition this tower moment as stronger as a couple which is fantastic mm -hmm. and i do see a, a, a guard being dropped around this relationship as well and and it may take you opening up to one another about the how you both feel about the changes right i also get that <clears throat> so with that we'll leave it there for you capricorn and wish you all the best with this don't forget if you would like your own personal he said she said reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com <clears throat> pardon me and uh, the cost is 35 dollars uh, for a 20 minute reading with both richard and i also don't forget to go and check out the my, my channel which is Gypsy Insights by Michelle I have my mid-August readings up already and I'm going to put my September's up this week so please go and check out your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and we wish you all the best Capricorn uh, Bye Capricorn, good luck <laughs>